Okay guys, I'm here today with Dean Lister. Yeah, I, I catch them here in the BGG Super Deals and BGG Fanatics studio. Dean was making one self-defense DVD and uh, so today he's gonna show us one of the self-defense techniques that he was showing in the video and it's a very cool one because it's one situation that happens a lot. Let's say for example you are somewhere in some bar or somewhere and then someone grabs you like this, right? So if we don't know what to do right here, we can even hurt ourselves because you start pushing your head and you start like moving us here, moving us there. So mm -hmm. today Dean is going to show us how to do this and it's such a pleasure to have Dean Easter on my channel again as I think probably everybody knows who is him but it's the ADCC legend, probably mm -hmm. I think one of the first, first American who won the Open class, right? Mark Kerr was the first, but you know, he won my points. I'm the first uh, American guy to... Uh, I, bro I broke the rules and I went for Lake Walk. Sorry, but I did it, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, he, he won the ADCC twice and uh, what's unbelievable. So, huge pleasure to have him. My here. brother, no, it's my. Thank you, man. Então, galera, tô aqui com o meu irmão, o Faria. Vamos mostrar no escape por uma técnica muito perigosa. I'm sorry, I just had to say for the Portuguese. Oh, yeah. words, right? Listen, the full Nelson, this can break your neck. Right? It's not like a joke. A chokehold, of course, it's actually, I think, more effective and, and much nicer, right? Because if, if someone goes to sleep, I mean, that's not good, but you wake up as long as they let go, <laughs> right? And you're fine. This can break your neck. It's a common, common move. I've seen, I've been to 44 countries, maybe even more, and I've seen bouncers used on people all over the world. And I, I've, even heard of uh, cases of little kids really hurting like their little brother, little sister with this because it's like a pro professional wrestling move. It looks cool, but you could break someone's neck with this, be in a wheelchair. I mean, that's not cool. First of all, I don't want someone to sneak up behind me. Right? That's, that's number one, awareness, right? But if it happens, there is a really good escape from this. And I, I must uh, give credit. Uh, my good friend, Rodrigo Medeiros Comprido from Brazil, he showed this to me, right? So I don't want to plagiarize, right? But he's my friend, so you won't care. I show this, but I must give credit where credit is due, okay? Now, I made a mistake, I'm in trouble, okay? Now, the more my arms go higher, the deeper it's harder to do. But even now, I can do it. Now, turn, turn, get up, get up. See how his hands are? That's how people will be. Oh, that's it, that's it, If someone locks like this, like a wrestler, it's very hard to escape, but they, but they cannot break your neck. That's how they will break and hurt your neck. So that's what everyone does. You push your head down and your spine stays relatively in the same place. And yes, if they fall, listen, I've seen, I, I won't mention styles or names. I've seen people teach things that will actually injure yourself. Let me demonstrate. You know, I've seen them say, oh, you can slip out of it. No, your neck breaks. It's worse, okay? Maybe even I'm talking funny, okay? <laughs> Proves the point. So literally, I need to save my own neck. Actually, literally, not even figuratively, okay? What I'm gonna do is, I'm placing my hand here, the back of my head, I'm covering it. Now, both uh, the put pressure. I'm already okay, he can't, he, he can't hurt me. Hopefully he doesn't have friends kicking me in the stomach right now or something, but hey, at least I'm saving my neck. You know, my stomach is important, but my neck is more important at this moment, okay? Now, it's difficult to show this in a visual aspect because it's more of a feel. Okay, but ah, I'm gonna escape this way. Now, yeah, what is it? I am using my neck going up, but I'm empowering it with my hands pushing this way. Listen, anyone watching, I swear, probably 80% of you will make this mistake. You're gonna try to push your head away from your hands. That is not correct, it doesn't work. It does not work, okay? So, um, even here, right now, even if I can't open his hands right now, put the pencil, put pressure. I'm okay. He can't hear me, okay? I don't like to be here. I'm a dumbass. He's not behind me. But you can ah. open this way. Of course, in a fight, I'm going to come back with an elbow, okay? And this is basic self defense. And once again, I know that's from my friend, Comprido, uh, which means long in Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, it's long. Yeah. <laughs> Rodrigo Medeiros. And so he was in my corner when I faced. Uh, Zizhang Machado in the 2005 super fight. 
uh, for Abu Dhabi. So I'm, I'm two-time Abu Dhabi champion, um, you know, in the tournament, but one-time super fight Abu Dhabi champion. So I don't know, two or three? I don't know. But I don't care. It doesn't matter. Two or three, right? Uh, with all due respect, because Gio Machado is one of my heroes my whole life, okay? Uh, here. Here. Now, if you get a little bit greedy or ambitious and you want to grab a gable grip, which is this, it's hard to reach it. It's difficult to reach this. It's stronger, but it's also not as flexible. So having your hands, it's called the S grip. When I was in the wrestling, we called it the Apache grip, which I thought was cool. But might step on some nerves nowadays, the Apache grip. I don't want to culturally appropriate anything. So let's call it the S grip. <laughs> Here, it's malleable. And it's the first thing you reach. It's the soonest grip you can ever touch. And now, important. It's almost like ripping almost all things in striking and jiu-jitsu function off the convert or say the separation of movements. So the punch from here to this, this arm has to go back. For this punch to go through, this arm has to go. Okay. So the fact that I'm making posture with my neck with the aid of my hands and my elbows are going the other way, that's two directions. This is very powerful. Ripping a piece of paper, right? This is how this works. And the quick story behind this, when I was a uh, Mirko Krokop's coach living in Croatia, man, I'll make a fast story, but uh, basically I did a seminar, and at the end of the seminar I went, all right, hey, let's do one self-defense move. Anyone, there's 80 kids, or kids, 19, 20, 21, you know, Croatian fighters on the night. Who wants to put me in the full now so I'm gonna escape? They went, Sasha, and I looked, and this freaking <laughs> shrek looking guy got up from the front desk. He, he was checking IDs just to, hey, membership, remember? He was, turns out he's creation strong man. Like he picks up cars and you know, really, really, I'm not joking, true story. I'm like, oh no, 340 pounds, just walked out of these. And I'm like, oh God, God, why did I say that? Just come on. But now I have to back it up. He put me in full nose and I'm like, I'm gonna die, you know? And no joke, he picked me up off the ground, was shaking me like a Christmas tree, but he couldn't make me tap. He was trying to break my, well, I would have tapped, I guess, right? He was trying to make me submit. This is one of the strongest men in the world, okay? And after a minute, his hands got tired and I still escaped. Now, it would have sucked if he had two friends <laughs> with weapons hitting me, but at least I saved my neck, literally saved my neck. And if it works on someone who's top 10 strongest in the world, that type of individual, it's probably technically sound. So I must give credit to my friend, Comprido, Rodrigo Maderos, thank you very much. And everyone, thank you very much. And thank yeah. you to my brother here. Yeah. Guys, I think it's so effective because when I was there, I felt like my wrist almost like breaking. It's so much pressure on the wrist that it makes the, I completely lose the position. So, great job. It's very easy because I'm using my core. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry, I'm using my core. I'm using all these muscles here, which are strong all together. This little muscle here specifically alone isn't that strong, but this is your core, it's not just your hips. Your core is your stomach, your ribs, everything that does this, not your arms or your legs. And I'm using my arms to reinforce, and I'm using my neck as well, but it's based on my core. This ability to do this, strong. And if you look at good boxers, good wrestlers, good jiu-jitsu athletes, they all have a strong core, all of them, or they would not be a champion. At all, guaranteed. And this could really save your neck. Thank you for checking it out.